All right, do not do this technique unless you are ready to astral travel or lucid dream tonight. Now I'm assuming that you know how to open up your hand chakras. If not, you can just watch the video in the description and that will walk you through how to open up your hand chakras. Once they are open, you will need to do this technique. Before I get into that, let me explain a little bit of the process of what happens when you're dreaming astral travel or lucid dreaming. It's all the same thing. It's just a matter of your perspective of the experience. You know, when you go to sleep at night to dream, your consciousness shifts from your physical body into your astral body and then it leaves your physical body and moves around you know this this 3d realm but most of the time the astral realm and then when you wake up you remember part of that experience as a dream or if you became aware at some point and conscious at some point during that you would call it a lucid dream or if you were aware of the whole experience of leaving and coming back you would call it astral traveling but it's all the same thing now through that process there are different checks that your mind will do in order to make sure that you're asleep like you'll start to itch somewhere or you'll have an urge to roll over and if you do that then the whole process will start over once you get past that, then sleep paralysis sets in, which you won't even be aware of because you'll be making sure you don't move. But then once that sets in, then there will be even more checks. Now you're starting to have a consciousness in your astral body, so you'll have to start, start seeing things and hearing things with your astral senses. You know, you'll start hearing footsteps around your bed. You'll start hearing voices outside your room. You know, the ceiling won't be there and it'll start raining in your room. You know, something to make you feel like you need to get up. You know, and if you respond to that, then you'll wake up and the whole process will start over again. But if you get past that, then you will start to shift out of your body. Now, understanding that, we can get onto the technique. So the physical body is negatively charged and the astral body is positively charged. This is one of the things that ties that union together in order to have to go through this whole entire process and in, in this shift to get out of your body. Now this exercise is going to speed that along. So once your hand chakras are open up, you will take a glass of water. And if you remember from the video, I talked about you will inhale the energy in through your nose, into your heart, and then exhale out your arms and into your hands. And you will hold the glass of water in your hands and you will infuse positive energy into that water for five to 10 minutes. Then once you're done, chug the water. Now this will slowly positively charge your physical body to where it's a lot easier. Your physical body will want to push out your astral body. And then you just lay down and go through that whole process, remain still, remain calm, go out. And when you go out, come back really quick, you know, two minutes. Because if you leave your body for too long when you're first starting out, you're going to start to lose consciousness and then you'll forget. And so you'll come back to your body and you won't even know, you'll be like, oh, it didn't work because you won't have any memory of any of it. You have to remain conscious through the whole process of making it back into your body. That is how you will remember the experience. Otherwise, you could be gone for hours. If you lose the consciousness at all, as soon as you get back to your body, you won't remember any of it. So it's very important early on to just, you know, get out of your body, look at your body, scan the room, and then get back in. 